it's Doris. So yesterday I showed you the high school book room and today I wanted to get your opinion on some of the books that I have not read yet from said high school book room. And actually, <laughs> um, it's still the same day, but I'm posting this the next day. So anyway, and I, some of these books I know quite a bit about, some I know nothing about, and I'm just going at this cold turkey. So let's see how it goes. First up, I have Raisin in the Sun, and I know I need to read this. The play that changed American theater forever, a seething interplay of past and present of wisdom and passion. That was from the New York Times. It was first produced in 1959. A Raisin in the Sun was awarded the New York Drama Critics Circle Award and hailed as a watershed in American drama, not only a pioneering work by an African-American playwright. This play was also a radically new representation of black life, resolutely authentic, fiercely unsentimental, and unflinchingly, and unflinching in its vision of what happens to people whose dreams are constantly deferred. I definitely need to read that one. Faux show, faux show. Okay, and then I have um, James Patterson, School's Out Forever. And this is part of the Maximum Ride series. And I don't know how many there are in this series. Like, if it's a trilogy, I'm willing to go for it. And I, I have read the first one. And I don't know if this is the second. So if it's not the second, I'm not reading it. Anyway. Let me know what you think about the Maximum Ride series. Okay, and then this one, Hendrick Ibsen, A Doll's House. I truly have never heard of this outside of the book room. And one of the best known, most frequently performed of modern plays. A Doll's House richly displays the genius with which Hendrick, Hendrick Ibsen pioneered modern realistic prose drama. Nora epitomized the human struggle against the humiliating constraints of social conformity, daring social themes. I might just go ahead and read this. It's, it's very tiny. What do you think? Is anybody familiar? Let me know. So we got two plays and a YA here. Okay. Then I have these two Albert Camus novels. And those covers, I mean, I need them. I need to own them. The Stranger and... Oh, never mind. They're both The Stranger. I'm a cover junkie. I didn't even notice they were the same book. Huh. So this is one I think I need to read. It's another classic, and I just read all of the high school classics. First published in English in 1946. Profound impact on millions of American readers. An ordinary man who unwittingly gets drawn into a senseless murder on a sun-drenched Algerian beach. Camus explored what he termed the nakedness of man faced with the absurd. Oh, I might need to read that. But I don't need to read both copies. Okay, and then the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. I'm assuming this is a biography. Published in 1845 to quell doubts about its origins. Since few slaves of that period could write, the narrative is admired today for its extraordinary passion, sensitive and vivid descriptions and storytelling power. Huh, so is this written by Frederick Douglass? Huh, what do you think? I'm trying to see. Yeah, but anyway, this is a definite for me. Pygmalion, My Fair Lady. Has anybody read that one? Ernest Hemingway, The Old Man in the Sea. I really have no interest, but let me know if you think I should. Ender's Game. really have no interest at all. I'm just not a gamer, and this is never... I, I know it's good, but it's not ever intrigued me at all. Okay, A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. I really do think I need to read this one. I think it's a southern um, playwright. Maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, I think this is one that I should read eventually, but I, 
I can't read them all right now. So which ones do you think I should read soon? That's what we're saying. Author Miller, Death of a Salesman. The good thing is so many of these are tiny. So, wow, these are all like from the 40s. This is another one. First published in 1949. Recognizes a milestone of the American theater. A lot of plays here too. When was Streetcar published? Hmm, anyway. Lots of plays. I'm going to read a play soon, obviously. Okay, Brave New World by Elvis Huxley. I do think I need to read this one. Darkly satiric vision of a utopian, utopian in air quotes, um, future where humans are genetically bred and pharmaceutically anesthetized to passively serve a ruling order. Hmm. Yes, I think that applies to modern times. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Let me know. Life of Pi. You're really going to have to convince me on this one. If you think I should read it, you're going to have to convince me because the movie. <laughs> and The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And I kind of do think I need to read this because if I'm going to be honest with you, I did start this a couple years ago. So I need to finish it. I didn't read much, maybe a chapter or two. So yeah. So let's see what we have here. Um, these are the ones that I'm kind of not interested in reading. So these are gonna be harder sales for me if you think I should read any of those. Um, then, these are, these are kind of maybes, like, like eventuallys, but I don't know if I want to read them right now, now. And then, um, let's see, I think for some reason these three in this moment in time are definites for me, maybe. Let me know what you think. And these three are soonish this year, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think of these? So yeah, that's the high school book room. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I like it. Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on what I should be reading out of this stack. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.